Hello, I'm Mr. Zorn, and this is the Calorimetry Lab. In this exciting chemistry lab, we are going to be finding the specific heat of a metal using the known specific heat of water. So our first step in this lab is to fill a 600 milliliter beaker about two-thirds of the way full with water, and we need to get that on our hot plate as soon as possible to get that water boiling. Remember, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. All right, my next step is to get a mass of our metal. So I'm gonna begin by putting our weigh boat on the balance, and I'm going to zero that out. Next, I'm going to place my sample on the weigh boat, and I'm gonna record the mass. I'm then going to take my test tube here and place the metal into the test tube so it's at the bottom, okay, just like that. And I'm gonna set that aside for right now. My next step is to attach my test tube with the metal to the clamp here, and then I'm going to lower my clamp so my test tube is, uh, so the metal rather, is just below the water line. Okay? And I'm going to take a thermometer and stick it into the test tube. Okay? And I want to turn it so that I can see the temperature. Okay? I want to watch for when this reads 100 degrees Celsius. Remember, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. While I'm waiting for the temperature of the metal to rise, I'm gonna use this time to prepare my calorimeter. So I'm gonna take my distilled water bottle and I'm gonna fill up a graduated cylinder with 100 milliliters of distilled water. Right on. And I'm going to take this and pour it into my calorimeter, like so. And I'm going to set this off to the side. Next, I'm going to take my calorimeter, and I'm going to take the thermometer, and I'm going to push it through the lid. It makes a cool sound. Okay, so it's sticking out just like that. And then I'm going to insert it into my uh, calorimeter here, and I'm going to make sure that the tip is touching the water level there. Okay, so it should look just like this. And I'm going to set that off to the side. We're going to continue heating until we get as close to 100 degrees Celsius as possible. Once our temperature is stabilized, we need to then transfer our metal to our calorimeter. So what you need to do first is note the temperature, the starting temperature of your calorimeter, and then you want to also note the temperature of the metal. Okay, so I've got my starting temperature of the metal and my starting temperature of the calorimeter. Okay, and I'm going to then carefully bring my clamp up I'm going to use test tube tongs to uh, grab a hold of my test tube. I'm going to take the lid of my calorimeter off. Okay, I'm going to carefully release the test tube, pull out my thermometer, and then I'm going to transfer my piece of metal from the test tube to my calorimeter, okay, and then quickly put the lid back on top. It's a lot that needs to happen. I'm also going to use a paper towel so I'm not dropping any of the water in the process, okay? And then I'm gonna put the lid on as quickly as I can. Once the temperature stops rising and it's stabilized, we're gonna go ahead and note that temperature so we can perform our calculations. And that's it. That's the calorimetry lab. Be safe and have fun.